Hey there, how you doing? My name is Drew, and this is a short video here, guys. This should only take like 15 minutes or so. Um, but I'm going to give you guys a marketing strategy. My puppy is trying to get on me. So I'll bring my puppy up here because she's so crazy. Here, you say hi quick, and then you go. Okay, this is Lulu. This is Lulu, and she's four months old, and she's super cute, and she's getting big. So anyways, here, let's put you down. Okay, hopefully you don't try and jump, jump on me again. I guess I started talking and she's like, Oh, wait a minute. You're talking to me. And then she came over and she's trying to jump on my lap. First thing, before we jump into this, I just want to talk about something that's really, really important is you should never take advice from someone who can't show you a result that you desire. Okay. So for instance, if you've never made say a hundred day, a hundred dollars a day online, then don't take advice from people that can't show you that they're making $100 a day online, okay? So personally, if you guys go to my YouTube channel and you see the videos on there, you can see I'm making roughly about $1,200 a day online. So maybe I can teach you something, right? So this is my uh, kind of success page that I'm having with S Group here. Um, if you don't know what S Group is, it doesn't really matter. This is more about marketing and marketing strategy uh, there, but you can see there, that I've made over $200,000 USD in commissions and bonuses through the company. I've done about almost $1.5 million in sales. And this is an actual investment company. Um, I think I've made around $150,000 through the passive investing through this company here, um, just in the last two years there, right? So um, just sharing my result with you guys here. Uh, the reason behind that is, you know, as I was saying before, don't take advice from people who can't, you know, show you a result that you desire kind of thing. So we're going to start things really easy here, guys. I'm going to uh, talk to you and show you um, marketing strategy that you can use through Facebook. For example, that I'm going to show you, uh, you can use this for any kind of social media page where you can actually build a friends list. That's probably the best place to get started, right? Is just through social media and um, posting for engagement and building a following through your posts and all that kind of stuff. So I'll just show you this here. I made this post yesterday, and this is just me showing my results there. So yesterday, through the company, through the commissions and bonuses, um, I just hit $200,000 there. So that gives you basically an idea of how many commissions I made over the last day, about $1,000 um, there, which is, yeah, basically bang on $1,000 almost. That's a very good day for me, I'll, sh I'll say that. Um, but you can see her guys, I got 61 people who, uh, you know, liked the post and I got 39 comments there. So you think if I got 39 comments here, you know, maybe, I don't know, uh, three or four people here are asking about the company, you know, asking like, oh, what is this? What is this about? And that's basically what you want to do through your engagement, through your social media pages is you, is you want to get their interest. You don't want to be going and trying to shove something down their throat and say like, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this type, uh, kind of thing like that, guys, because no one, no one wants that, right? They want to come to you, okay? You want them to say, hey, I'm interested. Tell me more about this. You don't want to be, you know, sh uh, uh, showing them something, okay? You want them coming to you, okay? You want them searching for what you're selling. That's the key to selling, okay? It's not going to, um, you know, some forum or some blog where people are chatting and being, you know, trying to shove what you're doing down their throat. You don't want to do that or just try and start up a conversation about what you're doing, right? Because it'll always end in like, oh, that's a scam or, oh, I make more than you and blah, 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 blah. And then fights break out and it's just, it's a waste of time, right? Kind of thing. So that's normally the problem that a lot of people start off with, with making money online is they think, oh, okay, I have this, you know, oh, this great opportunity to share with people, right? It says share right there, your referral link, share. So they get this idea that, oh, if I just share this with people and I put it in front of them, then that's people seeing what I'm doing or, or seeing this investment or, or this product I have to sell. And that's what I need to do. I need to put it in front of people because, oh, that's what marketing is. Marketing is, is people viewing what I'm doing type thing, right? If I stand outside... Uh, a pizza shop, um, and I'm flipping a sign around that says a $5 pizza, you know, come on in kind of thing. That's why I'm going to sell a lot, of, a lot of pizzas type thing. But with internet marketing, guys, it's a little bit different. You want people coming to you, meaning you want to create the content that gets their attention. And they're like, hey, what is this? And they come to you and they ask questions. Okay. So it's a totally different strategy than a brick and mortar business where you're standing out front of your business because it's just in that spot. 
and you're like trying to get people, <laughs> right? It's a totally different strategy. It's like the fish in the ocean strategy where you just uh, have your fishing rod and you put a nice little worm on the lure and you put it in there and there's lots of fish to, to you know, fish with basically, right? Okay, it's not just you and you're standing in front of open water and, uh, you know, you've only got your one little spot and maybe there's no fish there kind of thing, okay? So the internet marketing, guys, is a totally different ball game than your traditional, you know, hey, I want to sell something, okay? So with that being said, you have to go at this marketing thing with the approach of putting out your result, okay? That's the best thing that's going to make, you know, a sale. Uh, someone join you or someone buy your product is you show them that it works for you and how great it is. Okay, that's it. So that's basically what I'm doing in this post here. But here's the thing is you don't want to do this constantly every day, you know, five times a day. That's another big kind of no-no that I see uh, new marketers doing, guys. I don't want to go and show you examples of it because it might piss some people off maybe if they're watching this video. But even with the business opportunity here that I promote, 90% of the time, that's how I see uh, people promoting it is they just make posts on their social media like, hey, look at the percentage gain today. Or, hey, look at how much so-and-so made today. Da -da 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 -da. And it's like that every single post they make. What ends up happening, if you keep on doing that, you're going to, your audience, which I'm going to teach you how to build really, really soon here. So your audience there, guys, they're going to get blind to your post. Okay? So when they go and they see, oh, Drew Burton has posted Oh uh, yeah, that guy just posts the same thing every single day and they get blind to you. So when you actually go and you make a good post, like, oh, look at my team turnover. Oh, look, I made $300 today. Or I made, oh wow, I, I made my first $100 today online. They're not even gonna see it because they, when they uh, familiarize you with your name there, like you, th they don't wanna see it because they already think they know what it is, okay? So you wanna post in a way where you're posting your results, you're thinking about what you're doing, you're not doing the same thing every single day, and you're, you're doing different things. Like, so for instance, I'll just take my Facebook account um, uh, here, for example. So this is a post that is strictly, you know, a promotional post, okay? Notice I'm not putting a link there. I'm making them come to me. If they wanna see what this is, they have to ask. They have to say in the, just, uh, the comments down here, um, you know, I'm sure if we look through here, we could find a couple people asking, uh, here, there's someone there asking for info. So info, like, okay, he just wants to know information about it. You know, did he like it? No, someone else liked it. So maybe he hasn't even seen that yet. It's just been a day. Uh, da, 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 da. so this person here, you know, actually this is a good thing to talk about here. So this person here, you'll find this a lot online, guys, is they'll say something negative about what you're doing. Either there's lots of reasons. They could be jealous about what you're doing because you're showing a result of success. Or um, they could be, uh, you know, they could have lost money in the past online. And they just think every way of making money online, it must be a scam or no one, you know, making money online is fake kind of thing like that. And if you say, hey, look, I'm making money online. They just don't believe it kind of thing. So this guy here, if you read this, it actually is negative what he's saying. He's basically saying that, you know, I'm a, a leader and only leaders get results and everyone else gets scammed and all this kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, I took the conversation. I basically turned it around. If you read that there and you can see there the um, last comment there, he's basically asking me for information on what this is so i sent him the link in the video and you can see there he's he's put the uh thumbs up there right okay so you can actually turn the situation around if you know how to do it guys that's something that uh might be a little bit difficult for you at the start um so you know if you do get comments like this what you can do it's always good to be uh in a community of people that are in the same opportunity as you and stuff like that. So actually in this opportunity over here, S group, we actually have a, a group, which is an EN chat group here and we all help each other out. So, you know, a good thing there would be, uh, if you get some kind of answer or response, sorry, to your post like this, 
just take it, take a screenshot of it, and then you post it in a group where everyone can help each other out, okay? And then hopefully there's someone in there, maybe like myself or something, that can just totally take take you by the reins and, and be like, okay, this is what I would say to this person, right? So like that, guys, environment, you always want to uh, join or be promoting something where you know that there's people that can help you, okay? If you're new to, to making money online, it's a really super important thing there, okay? So, uh, yeah, I gave you a couple examples there of, of uh, you know, how to get leads through uh, making just a total straight up like promotional post. Like, hey, this is my result. And, you know, the whole point of that post is to get people to ask below, like, how did you do this? Or give me information on this, okay? So other posts that you can do. Okay, so here's some other things that you can do, guys. Like if you ever have some kind of, you know, something that happens to you that's good. Like for instance, I got this car here that basically S Group is paying for. It's paying for the monthly payments for this car. My S Group investment that I made uh, strictly just to pay for this car here. Um, you know, something like that, right? So I posted a picture of this car. You can see it got a ton of attention. So anything that is like cool kind of uh, deal, guys, it'll get a lot of attention. So for instance, if you're, I don't know, maybe you're good at some sport, maybe you're good at skiing or something, like, you know, and you and your buddies are always out doing cool tricks or whatever in the, in the ski park, um, put a picture of you doing a trick in the ski park, you know, your first backflip or whatever kind of thing like that, that'll get attention. And, uh, you know, if, if you've gotten yourself to a point where you're making money online and you've bought yourself, I don't know, the new skis that you bought that you're, you're on and you're doing the trick on, then you can relate that to the business opportunity that you're in. Okay. So you could put something like, uh, had an awesome time today in the ski park. Uh, you know, thanks, blah, 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 opportunity or blah, 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 marketing sales, uh, for the new skis, uh, for this season. Awesome. You know, something like that. Right. Okay. So that's basically what I did here on this post. Um, you know, got a, a bit of engagement on it, a lot of likes and stuff just because it's a cool thing in the picture. Okay. So other things that you can do is you can post things that you find are funny. Okay. So I, I came across this and I was like, man, that's freaking hilarious. Like, uh, Jennifer Lopez says men under the age of 33 are, uh, really useless. <laughs> right. And then I saw this guy here. He commented, he commented, uh, by all means, Let's uh, give a damn about relationship advice from a woman that collects engagement rings like she's Thanos. <laughs> you know, that's just hilarious, right? So it has nothing to do with what I'm promoting or anything like that, guys. But what I'm doing here is I'm basically trying to build engagement, but in a different way with something I thought was hilarious. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, man, that's so funny. So I took a screenshot of it and made a post about it. And uh, what people remember is is they'll remember my... Uh, image here and my name and they'll think oh yeah okay last time he posted that was really really funny i'm gonna look at what he's doing okay so little things like that you know stuff that you can do there okay and then uh you know just more promotional stuff trying to get people to my youtube channel to subscribe uh here i had six uh six 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 youtube subscribers and i'm like oh man you know get get me a new subscriber here guys uh type thing there i don't want to be stuck on uh 666 subscribers that's a bad number, right? So um, just little things like that, guys. You know, just look at what's going on with your marketing and, and think of creative ways to do things, right? Okay. How did I go and I get 4,924 people on my friends list here? Uh, I don't know probably 90% of these people, guys. And I know z like none of these people in real life. Like I've never met any of them on the streets. There are none, none of these people here are my neighbors. They're all just people that are interested in making money online. So how do you go and you build a friends list like that? So here's something else that I need to talk about really quick guys is when you're first starting off, the easiest people to, to, uh, to sell to are the people that, you know, like your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your cousins, your neighbors, stuff like that. That's called a, a warm market. Okay. People that you don't know is called a cold market. Okay. So it's easier to sell to people that you know, but here's the thing. Most of the time you don't want to sell to people, you know, because you're just getting started and you're unsure about what you're doing. And you're thinking like, Oh, they might laugh at me or they might make fun of me or stuff like that. So I want to be hundred percent honest with you guys. Uh, when I first started with making money online, um, 
I did try to sell to people I knew. Like I tried to sell to my parents. I tried to sell, you know, when I started was like in the like mid 2000s, basically. I think it was like 2000, 2008 or 2007, something like that. So it was a very long time ago. Um, you know, Google ads were a thing and you could easily do paid marketing. Now it's totally different. It's very hard to make money with paid marketing, but, um, yeah, guys, when I first started, uh, you know, trying to sell and stuff like that, it wasn't internet marketing. It was build a list of 200 people that, you know, that might be interested in this, you know, it was like a physical product that I was trying to sell. It was like weight loss stuff or some, some stupid thing like that. Um, yeah, so uh, my start to this was I made a list of 200 people that I thought I could sell to, and I contacted all those people, and I think I made um, three or four sales, and I had all this like pr uh, weight loss stuff in my kitchen, like tons of it, right? Because you got to buy it to sell it. And anyways, it was a horrible experience. And then I slowly kind of got into internet marketing. I did paid traffic, all that, you know, Google ads and Facebook ads and all that kind of stuff. Guys really didn't make that much money with it. I made a bit of money, like break even. And then I started making some money. Um, I wouldn't say enough money to totally live off. It wasn't tell like when I had my big breakthrough was when I got introduced to free marketing. Okay. Through YouTube, Facebook, social media. Okay. And here's the reason why like I had probably more traffic when I was doing paid marketing, but with free marketing, it doesn't cost you anything. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here of how to build a friends list of like like-minded people, it doesn't cost anything, right? So you have nothing to lose. Okay, so I highly recommend you just go out there and you, you follow through what I'm going to show you here. So how do you find those people, guys? It's so freaking simple, guys. So for this here, this is a Forex investment. So of course, I'm going to use this for an example because this is what I'm doing, right? So it's a Forex investment. So I could come over here and I could type in uh Forex um, uh, Pro Trader, right? Okay, that's a good one. Forex Investor, Forex Prince. I don't know what that is, but I could go Forex uh, Investors, okay? So that might be some good groups there. So we'll see here. So this one, Forex Investors, has 93,000 members in it. So I could easily build my entire friends list uh, of, of, you know, 4,000 or 2,000 people, however uh, big you want to go with it. I could get all my friends through this one group here. So this is what I do, guys. Okay, and I can see there's actually 11, 11 people on my friends list that are in this group. So I'd click on that, okay? It's gonna take me to the group here. I don't even have to join the group if I can see the engagement on the post, okay? So right now we're looking at this and I can see right now, this is just a total spam group. Like, look, that's like a porno or something. Um, so definitely guys, this is not the group that I want to be finding my friends in because no one's engaging in this group. Okay. So <laughs> new, new example here, right? So, uh, and I'm going to show you guys here pretty soon why you want to, um, find friends, like-minded friends through groups, through, uh, engaged groups. Okay. So there's this here, Forex and, uh, binary and in investors chat. There's 74,000 people in it. Uh, five people that are in here are, are on my friends list. Um, so I come in here and I look at this and this is good. Okay. So you can see here on this post, this was made September 28th at 8 50 AM. So that was like half a month ago. Okay. 28 people liked it. This is probably good. Okay. This is probably good enough. Um, if you can find a group that has engagement on their post and it's a post from like this week, or today is the best, but here's 26 people that I know are interested in making money online. And I know they're interested in the Forex market because that's what this group is about is about Forex. And these people are interested in making money online. So you might be thinking right now, okay, yeah, Drew, this sounds great, but you know, like, how do I know these people are going to like my posts or they're going to like what I'm doing? right? They're going to like what you're doing because you're making money. Okay. If you're doing something that is a passive investment and you're making money, it's not a, like a Ponzi scheme or something like that. And you go and you put your earnings, like what you're making in front of people, they're going to be like, Oh wow, this is cool. Okay. If it's, especially if it's a passive income. Okay. Cause I can tell you right now, because of the success rate 
of Forex trading, crypto trading, binary options trading, stock, uh, you know, Fortune 500 company uh, stock trading, S&P 500 trading, whatever kind of trading you want to do. Um, 98% of those people are losing money, okay? Because that's just how it is, right? Okay, so if I go here and I click this, it opens up this list here of 26 people that are like-minded like me. They want to make money online. They're interested in Forex trading. And I know that 98% of these 26 people, so most of them, maybe one or two of them here are actually successful at what they do. So if I go and I go add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend, add friend, and I do that to 10 people per day, like 10 to 15 people per day, then things are going to escalate. Things are going to grow. And I'm going to have my, you know, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 list of friends, like within six, six months or so, right? Guys, that's what I did. That's how I got started uh, with this free marketing stuff that I really started to see success with there, right? And I know that I'm building my friends list of people that are like-minded. They're interested in basically what I'm doing or what I'm promoting. And uh, I know that, you know, most of these people, 98% of them are not making money with what they're doing. So if I put in front of them a post, like I know your first post or whatever is not going to be like, you might not have a, a nice big result like this here. <sighs> Why does it keep on doing that? But you can post, you know, hey, I made $300 this uh, uh, month through S group or whatever you're doing, you know, thanks S group, you know, love you, whatever kind of thing like that. You make your post. Guys, you don't have to post every single day. What I normally do is I'll post like, well, you can look at this. This was a day ago. This post here was a day ago. Okay, I did two posts that day. Uh, this was October 3rd, so like two weeks ago. Um, this post here was October 2nd. So I, like two posts in a week. This was September 26th. So yeah, about two posts a week, guys, um, is what I do there. And yeah, so you can just take the time to think about what you're posting and such. Okay. So that's basically it for social media marketing and how you get started. What I'm going to talk about in the rest of this video, guys, is uh, YouTube marketing. YouTube marketing is really, really how you're going to separate yourself from everyone else because everyone else that is making like a little bit of sales online here and there, maybe they've got 50 people that's joined them in a business opportunity. Where's that puppy? I can hear her wrecking something. What I was saying, guys, was, you know, people that are doing this Facebook marketing and they're posting their results and they're, you know, getting engagement and they're getting people asking what they're doing, or how are they making the money, stuff like that. You know, they're, they're probably making sales and they're, you know, doing pretty good, but they're not doing things really, really fast where they might create a result like this in, in a year or two kind of thing. Right. Okay. So, and I've got proof on my YouTube channel to back up everything that I'm saying. Like you can go back and you can look um, at the first day that I started promoting S Group was October 12th, 2020, which is exactly two years ago, actually from today, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of the next level, guys, is, and this all works together, okay? So, uh, you know, uh, with the YouTube content, it's a bit a different strategy as in you can't just go out there and build a build a subscribers list through just clicking on, you know, people's profiles and being like, oh yeah, you know, and build up a subscribers list. They actually have to subscribe to you. So it's a lot more difficult. It When you start, it's a lot slower. Um, it took me two years to get 683 subscribers on here, which is actually pretty good guys to get around 500 subscribers in a couple of years for something that you're promoting. It's not like I'm making uh, car blog videos or vlog videos and showing like how to repair cars or you know, driving fancy cars or anything like that, where you might get this many subscribers in a month kind of thing, right? Um, this is about a business opportunity. And this whole channel here, guys, is about S group, right? So what I do here, and this is how I recommend you start if you want to do the video end of things as well. And this is how you're going to take your, your team and your marketing and all that sales and stuff to the next level, not just come out with like 50 people that have joined you over the year, which, you know, maybe one out of every seven to 10 people are going to fund. So you have 50 people that have joined you and you've got four people that have actually funded. How do you go and create a result like this where you have a thousand people that joined you and hundreds of people have funded under you, right? This is what you need to do is you need to create content where they can actually see how it works, 
okay? And they can see that it's working for you. If they can see it's working for you, then they know, hey, maybe this is gonna work for me as well because I can see it's working for this person and it's not just some post that, that I've seen on Facebook, you know, and the same person posting about this the last like three, four months since I've been friends with them. Um, you know, if there's a place where they can come to and they can actually see the result day after day of, of, of what you're getting, right? Okay, so that's kind of the basics of why you would wanna have a YouTube channel, okay? Also, a YouTube channel works out. Um, that's what we wanna target, guys. And a lot of times people will go to things like, they'll go to places like Google and they'll just type in, you know, what they're searching for. They'll go to YouTube is a big one. That's my target audience is I wanna get people that are, are on YouTube looking for reviews. They'll go to YouTube, they'll type in, uh, you know, what they're looking for and stuff like that. So if you have a lot of video content, right? If you have a lot of video content, I think I have about 500 or 600 videos here on S group. Um, you know, there's a high possibility, high chance that that person who's looking for information on what you're selling, or they're actually looking to buy what you're selling. They're just looking for someone to buy from, uh, it, you know, that's going to give them the proper information. Boom. You're putting yourself right in front of them, right? It's the whole thing of fishing, to the whole group of fish and not just your little spot with maybe there's no fish there, right? It, it's all, it's that, that's what we're talking about here. Okay. So it, uh, if we were to do that, I don't know if this is going to help me out, but <laughs> we'll see this here. Um, there, so there's one of my videos. Oh, I'm doing good here. There's two of my videos there on the first uh, search for that. I don't know if it'd be different if I logged out of my account. Um, but yeah, guys, that's basically what you want to do. There's Yoshi again. Um, yeah, so that's basically what you want to do, guys, is you want you want to create something like that where they can come along and they can just search, do a search, and then boom, you're in front of them, okay? So uh, let's go back to my channel here, and we'll talk about how to lay out your channel, okay? So for me, I had this nice banner here. I had this nice banner here made up like eight years ago or six years ago or something like that. So I just decided to use that. Um, what you want to do is you actually want to do something a little different. You want to brand yourself with what you're selling. Okay. So if I was to do this and, and do this, like really think about what I was doing, like if I was to start uh, from the start, I would have this image here of myself with like the S group banner that, that I have here on Facebook or something like that. Right. I would contact someone, get it made, or maybe, maybe I could make it myself with, I don't know, some kind of tools or something like that. And that's what I'd have. So basically when someone lands on your YouTube channel, they see you and they see the business opportunity that they're looking for. They're looking for information about that, okay? So that's, I wouldn't do this like Drew Burton marketing kind of thing, right? Okay, on your YouTube channel, uh, and if you don't know how to do anything, like, oh, how do I upload a banner to YouTube? Just go and go to YouTube and say how to upload YouTube banner kind of thing, right? If you don't know how to make a, I don't even know what this is called, like a, this video here where it, where they land on the home button here and it shows them a video. Um, but you could look into like, you know, just type in here, like how to set up a YouTube channel like that. And I'm sure it'll tell you how to do this. I think this is called like home video or something or auto play video or whatever. Cause it auto automatically plays when you land on the home page here. So anyways, you want to have your own presentation video of what you're selling. Okay. So people land on your channel and they're like, oh, okay. Yeah, this is perfect. This is the exact video that I was looking for a presentation of what you're selling. Okay. So that's it there. And then down here, you know, you've got just your videos that you do. If you make playlists, you could put your playlist there. I don't bother with that stuff. Uh, back here is videos and guys, if they click on this and they look at this, they know that I do daily review videos. So what I do in every single one of my videos that I do, I say, hey, it's day number 730. It's day number 106. It's day number da, 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 whatever day it is. So the first thing that they hear and they think about is, oh, this person does daily review videos. So I can go and I can subscribe to this channel and follow the progress, okay? So that's that guys. And that's how I, I build a subscribers list, okay? If you notice in my videos, guys, I don't really say, hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I just let them know that I'm doing daily review videos and today is day number blah, 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 blah. And then they'll know, oh, I got to subscribe to this channel 
because he's going to put out tomorrow's video or, or the end of the week video kind of thing like that um, type deal. Okay. So that's it for this video here, guys. We went over, you know, uh, how to build a, a Facebook following there. This is how you're going to make most of your sales when you're getting started is through this Facebook following here, because you think about it, like if you're just getting started, it's easier for you to go and post, Oh, look, I made $400 or $500 this month with blah, 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 uh, you know, product or blah, blah, blah opportunity or S group or whatever you're doing. Um, it's easier to get engagement around that than for you to go and have, you know, five videos on your YouTube channel because you just started a week ago and, um, for you to get views on it. Like you can see here, guys, I've got 600 and 680 people that have subscribed to this channel. That means 683 people are getting an email every time I, op I upload a video, but you can see this, this video has been uploaded for seven hours and only 33 people have watched it. Okay. This video here was uploaded three days ago and only 70 people have watched it. So it's way, way easier to get engagement through a Facebook post or through Instagram or some kind of social media where you can actually go and build your following. Okay. You don't have to have them come to you f uh, to follow you, <laughs> right? You can actually go and pick who follows you kind of thing because you're putting the posts in front of them. But I highly, highly, highly recommend you don't hesitate and you get started with doing YouTube content because over time, this is what's going to sell. This is what's going to, you know, make the difference from doing 50 signups per year, right? Or doing 500 signups per year is by you actually showing the viewer that, you know, this thing works. Okay. What I'm doing works. So that's it. We'll end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, yeah. Uh, follow my uh, update videos for S Group and I'll see you in another video shortly. See ya. Bye-bye.